Look, you know a trailer's good when while you're working, you're just trying to avoid all the spoilers you possibly can get. Just shh. Hello, everyone. Terrence here with Hollywood Already Did It. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, share, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell below. Anytime we have something, you'll be the first to know. So DC is sort of banking on the fact that they have your attention right now. So they're like, cool, we have them. Snyder Cut's got a sort of people talking about us at least. Let's go ahead and drop this Suicide Squad trailer, which I, uh, I have mixed feelings on um, because I hate it, like absolutely hate it. Like the BBS is bad. I think Suicide Squad is the worst of all the DCEU films, if for no other reason that there's a ton of talent on the board that just, it just does not pay off. Um, and I went into that pretty excited because I liked the previous uh, work from the director, like Into Watch and, and, and at Harsh Times, producer or whatnot. So I, I thought we were going to get in, get in there and get something good, and we got just a mess of a film. And so they hired James Gunn, and I'm like, okay, cool. So are you going to take some of the Guardian stuff, the Guardian style and Guardian's comedy and just the feel and, and put that in DC. If that's the case, cool, sign me up. That's what I want. Um, but the road, the bar is so low for Suicide Squad and DC as a, as a whole um, that I, I don't know what we're gonna quite get with this. So let's start her up and see what we got. We will start this trailer up now. Love it when it's a red <laughs> You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave while we're all behind. Hopefully, Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You, what we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Harley Quinn. Love school. <laughs> you know the deal. Successfully complete the mission, you get ten years off your sentence. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Do the job. So this is the famous suicide squad. Find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. What's the plan? How the hell am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, and somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone <laughs> put penises all over the beach? Well, that's what <laughs> madmen do what they do. This is suicide. Oh, well, that's kind of our thing. I'm going to get you out of here alone. Oh my god! We've got a freaking kaiju up in this shit! Uh -huh. I don't wanna do you. I love the rain. The angels are swooping all over us. Wow. Okay. Um, that looks fun. That looks very James Gunnish, where you're just like, I this is some weird shit, and and, and 
sometimes out of context with the rest of the film, like, I don't know if this quest works. There are some moments in it that I deeply like. I like the walking through uh, wherever they're at and, 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 and Idris and, and Cena are having their interaction with each other with a bag of dicks. It's funny. I don't know why this trailer as a whole uh, didn't connect with me in the way that I think uh, it was intended to. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily the characters in the DC don't merge mesh or necessarily merge or mesh with James Gunn style or the comedy just doesn't work, but something about it, it's, it's colorful, it's bright, it's got the music cues that James loves to have in the background. It's weird as shit, which is, that's right up my alley. But for some reason, this one just, I mean, it's off. Um, obviously, it's going to be one of those day in, day in the theaters, HBO Max type of things. But I think because the bar is so low, and what I expect from them with this is, is so low, that I wanted this trailer to completely put me on the other side and say, yes, that's the one. And it's just like, oh, that looks like it could be fun. Um some of that might be because I love Birds of Prey and seeing Harley in that and that film handle her and that world better or what I feel deemed to be better. Um, something here in this one just doesn't quite connect for me. And I'm sure I'm going to watch this trailer a couple more times. And yes, obviously, I'm going to go see it or I'm going to see it. Um, but this is no longer on there on my list of like, oh, I'm waiting for this. And I, I thought it was going to be. Um, what did you guys think about the trailer? I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um... I don't think that's a terrible trailer. I don't think it looks bad. I just I think I was wanting more. Um, what do you guys think? Go ahead and leave your comments in the comments below. If you haven't, you can follow us on Twitter at Hollywood ADI. You can hit us up on email at HollywoodAlreadyDidIt at gmail.com. We also have a podcast with the same name. That's on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any other place podcasts. We're there. We're currently doing a look at buddy comedy, buddy films through, through the history, uh, through the eyes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier with our guest host, Jamie Jurek. We also have a sister podcast called You Can't Do That Anymore. We talk about classic films such as Back to the Future or Gone with the Wind or um, West Side Story. I mean, look at those films from the time that they came out with the eyes of 2021 to see if some of the things that they got away with doing then, that they would be able to do that. And uh, can they do those same things today? But like always, I got my ticket. You got yours.